Maybe it happened at childhood. I don't know. Just one of those things. In 2008, I visited the local skin dermatologist and uh, I visited her um, and I was doing that on a regular basis, uh, having skin checks every 12 months. On this particular time, I was aware I had a sore on the side of my neck that wouldn't heal. Uh, I didn't think it was anything bad. I thought it was only a basal cell carcinoma. She looked at it. She removed it immediately when we had the pathology results back. Yeah, it came back a quite a serious melanoma, much to our surprise. When I had the, received the phone call, I think it was a Monday morning, and it was a melanoma, so, like, you see all the ads on TV and think the worst. Um, the heart fell through the floor. Then I had to have another operation to remove... Um, they do a, a larger incision around the site where the melanoma was, and I, uh, to remove the lymph nodes. The pathology reports was all uh, positive, and I had no melanoma in those lymph nodes, which was great. If I had it left unattended, it possibly would have entered my bloodstream, and then I wouldn't know where it could have ended up through my body. The longer you leave it, well, obviously, like everything, the longer you leave it, the harder it is to uh, treat. My working habit hasn't really changed. I wear a hat, sunscreen, probably wear during the day um, long pants, more so than shorts that I used to, you know, because it does get pretty hot, and long sleeve shirts. But have regular skin checks. Be aware of what your body's doing, and if there's anything that looks not quite right, don't hesitate to go to your local GP. You can't afford not to. It happens too quickly.